What is up YouTube? This is Instinct again bringing you guys my LMG gun guide review. In this episode of my gun guide series, I will be telling you guys which LMG is statistically the best, so if you ever use one of the LMGs, make sure you stick around to find out if you are actually using the right one. So in this video, I will be comparing the M27 IAR to the LSAT to see which LMG is statistically better. I excluded the chainsaw and the Ameli because I did not believe either one of these weapons would be in the run. The chainsaw fires from the hip which gives it an incredibly weak accuracy when shot at long ranges. Even though the chainsaw is good at close range, I'm trying to show you guys which LMG is best suited for consistently doing well in whatever setting of Call of Duty you play in, whether it's competitive or just for fun. Also, I did not include the Ameli in this review because the Ameli both has, both has the slowest rate of fire and the poorest accuracy. The only thing that I would say is good about the Ameli is its ability to produce two shot kills, but again, the negatives of this weapon just tell me it is not the best choice. So let's jump right over to my computer screen and I will show you some cool stuff that I put together for you guys. So what I have for you guys here is a little chart that compares the LSAT in this left column to the M27 IAR in the right column. We have, let's see, six categories that we are going to compare these two guns in, and that is going to be accuracy, three shot kill range, fire rate, minimum damage, magazine size, and damage multipliers. This chart is very similar to the one that I showed you guys in the SMG gun guide review, but if you did not see that uh, review, I recommend going to check it out, but I will explain how this chart is going to be effective for comparing our LMGs. So first off, these categories on the left are um, in decreasing order, um, starting with accuracy, which is the most important. Each one is given a number of stars, so at the top, accuracy is given six stars, so the gun that has the better accuracy is given those six stars, and we go down to three-shot kill range is five, fire rate is four, minimum damage three, magazine size two, and damage multipliers one. Now, no matter what order you put these in, I recommend putting them in a logical order. If you don't agree with what I put them in, you can do it yourself and, I guess, change you know minimum damage with fire rate or whatever you want to do. Um, but in my opinion, it's still going to yield the same results. So let's see what we got here. We have the LSAT has a low to moderate recoil and the M27 has a low recoil. So the accuracy on the M27 is better, so the six stars go to the M27. The three-shot kill range on the LSAT is 26 meters or less. The M27's three-shot kill range is 38 meters or less, so the three-shot kill range goes over to the M27 side. Again, you guys can find all this information on the LSAT or the M27 uh, gun guides that I have on my channel, uh, but we will keep going. Fire rate, the LSAT shoots at 800 bullets per minute. The M27 shoots at 705 bullets per minute, so the fire rate category will go to the LSAT. Minimum damage, the LSAT does a 20 minimum damage, making it a 5-shot kill at the longest possible range. And the M27 IAR has a 32 minimum damage, giving it a 4-shot kill at um, max or minimum maximum range. So the M27 does have a better minimum damage, so the 3 stars go over here. Magazine size, unfortunately these two guns do have the same uh, magazine size, so they are equal. Lastly, damage multipliers, which I don't think are that important. That's why it is in the one star. Um, but it does go to the LSAT side because the LSAT has a 1.56 times damage for a headshot, whereas the M27 IAR only has a 1.4 times damage for a headshot. So as you can see, we have 6, 11, 12, 13, 14 stars on the M27 side and 5 stars on the LSAT side. So obviously, guys, you can see that the M27 IAR is statistically better because it is the better weapon in terms of accuracy, 3-shot kill range, and minimum damage. They have the same magazine size, and the only categories that the LSAT wins in is its fire rate and its damage multipliers. We're not really going to talk about damage multipliers because that's assuming you're going to get a headshot, and I don't really like to assume that you're going to get headshots. So the only uh, reason that you guys should be choosing the LSAT is if you need a gun with a higher rate of fire, but if you guys are looking for a gun with a higher rate of fire for those close range battles, in my opinion, you shouldn't be using an LMG anyways because you should be using a gun like a like a submachine gun. So if you guys are needing a gun with a very large magazine size for medium to short or for medium to long range kills, the M27 is going to be your best LMG. 
So guys, just to wrap it all up, the LMG that you guys should be using is the M27 IAR because it has the best accuracy in its class, the best 3 shot kill range, and its fire rate is not low enough to make it ineffective, so its fire rate is still at an effective level. The other guns in the LMG class just don't prove to be as effective, and I want to make you guys as effective as I possibly can. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.